Hi, I'm Tyler, and welcome to another episode of my Christian Music Week reviews. Each week I take five releases, be it all EPs or singles, and after I listen to them all week, I come back here and I review them and share what I think about them. So without further ado, let's get to this week's first release. Drew Holcomb and Denaver's new album, Strangers No More, Volume 2. Drew Holcomb and the Neighbors' new album, Strangers No More, Volume 2. If you want to go back and check out my thoughts on Volume 1, I reviewed that on this channel as well. You can go back and check it out after we're done here. We'll talk about Volume 2. So, let's talk about my first listen of this album. The first few tracks, I wasn't as into his vocals as I'd hoped for. And then the next few songs, by the time I got warmed up to his vocals, I was kind of underwhelmed by the sound. But second and third listen, both the voice and the sound, I have to say, grew on me. And by the end of the third listen, I could say this is a pretty good album overall here. Stylistically, got a few different things going on here. Country... Country rock, alternative, folk, and different from Strangers No More buying wine. We see some R&B influence here as well. Leaning towards the upbeat side of things, but some ballad moments as well here. And as for the lyrics here, pretty good theme here on the album. Drew Holcomb and the neighbors talk about how in trouble from pursuing dreams we need to find mercy from the satisfying love of our special someone that gives us confidence and from God protecting us so we can be free from the trouble to lovingly help others. Up next, Unspoken's new album, Four. Unspoken's new album 4. Let's dive into it. So pretty good album here. Stylistically, a pop rock album overall with a strong emphasis on the pop side of that equation. Also a very notable contemporary influence as well. And some R&B influence here as well. Mostly upbeat. But there are some ballad moments. There are a few bowing moments here, too. And as for the lyrics here, pretty good lyrics here. Unspoken talks about how in waiting through overwhelmingly painful hard times, we need to joyfully hope our faith in God to faithfully keep his promise in his word to in his unconditional love through Jesus' sacrifice on the cross that pursued us to heal us free from sin and change we God's children to restore us from the painful hard times by giving us strength so we can reflect our joyful hope in that love. Up next, Hobie's new album, Cry. Hobie's new album, Cry. Let's dive into it. So pretty good album here. Stylistically, definitely a mash of first and foremost, hip hop. Secondly, R&B, and definitely some notable pop influence as well here. We hear some lo-fi and trap influence here as well. Most of the songs are either hard-hitting or danceable, oftentimes both at the same time. We do get one ballad in um, Roses. That song has a little bit more of a R&B worship ballad feel to it. And the intros to each section of the album are pretty chill too. So, Cry stands for three things basically. So the C is for communion, R is for reflection, and Y is for yearning. More on that in a minute. Bulkley here. Holby 
sings and sing raps, and there's some straight up rapping too. And there's also some vocal samples. And as for the lyrics here, so as I said, there are three sections on this album. So what I kind of did is when I was writing the summary for this album, I still did the one summary, but I wrote a summary for each section and then I kind of combined it to make my one album lyrical summary. And as for the lyrics here, pretty good lyrics here. Holby talks about how the misery of shame over weakness and sin and anxiety drew him to surrender it in faith to God's unconditional love through Jesus' resurrection and blood on the cross to heal Holby from the pain to cause him to surrender his life to uncompromisingly following God's leading in living his dreams of uncompromisingly impacting people by reflecting how that love heals people from pain to have new eternal life. Up next, City of Lights, new EP. City of Lights, new live EP. Rise my soul, let's dive into it. So pretty good EP here. Stylistically here, definitely goes back and forth between upbeat contemporary pop rock worship and contemporary folk worship ballads. And as for the lyrics here, pretty good lyrics here. Really gives a picture of all that Jesus Christ has done to give us eternal life. And as, as for the lyrics here, City of Light talks about forever praising the Lord Jesus Christ for how we can follow and trust his leading from sin to eternal life in heaven as God's child in grace through Jesus Christ's victorious resurrection and blood on the cross. Up next, our last release for today, Seven Hills Worship's new live album, Looking Glass. Seven Hills Worship's new live album, Looking Glass. Let's dive into it. So, pretty good album here. Stylistically, mostly a collection of contemporary worship ballads. But a couple of upbeat contemporary pop rock worship moments as well here. We also hear some alternative influence as we get later on in the album. And as for the lyrics here, love the lyrics here. I really connected with this because I'm kind of in a waiting season right now. So... These lyrics I really connected with. And as for the lyrics here, Seven Hills Worship talks about when we're weak in impossible hard times of waiting. We need to gratefully thank Jesus for how in his love through the cross we can trust our hope in him to faithfully be with us to revive us from sin and revive our faith that he will provide guidance to miraculous, victorious healing from the hard times. Well, that's it for this week. Come back next week for five more releases. If you like what's on video, please subscribe. I put out videos every Friday at 9 30 a.m. Pacific time. Also, have any thoughts on these releases or what you said about them? Let me know in the comments below. Also, in the comments, you can let me know if there's any awesome releases that came out today that you want to see in next week's video. Also, check out the playlist section for my music month training playlist available here on YouTube and also on Spotify. In this month's edition, the playlist includes songs from artists like Holby, Triply, KB, No Big Deal, Tori Deshawn, and others. So go and check that out if you're interested. Well, go now. See you next week. Bye.